As of our 9.5 release, there are two types of callbacks. Legacy callbacks are the only callbacks reviewed in this video. Legacy callbacks interflow the call out of the queue and do not maintain the caller's position. For information on the H pick or hold position in queue callbacks, please see our additional videos. Callbacks allow the system to be able to call back a caller. This prevents a caller from waiting on hold. The caller leaves their contact information and an agent will call them back automatically. There are two ways to program callbacks. A queue is the most common way to implement a callback. While a call is on hold in the queue, a callback gets offered. A callback is offered via RAD messaging. Let's program a queue to offer callbacks. Click Queue. Choose a queue from the list. Click the Recorded Announcements tab. Enter the dialable number associated with recorded messages. On our third option, we are using the Interflow dial list and entering the digit 7. This programs the Interflow dial list 7 to route to a specific hunt group, in this case, 3000. The Interflow dial list is programmed on the My Voice business system and not in your site explorer. Select your workflow. Click and drag the hunt group activity from the toolbox to the answer activity. Right-click on the hunt group header. Click Add Condition. Click Add. Enter the appropriate hunt group dialable number, in this case, 3000. Click OK. This will allow the system to determine if the call is a new call or meant for the callback plan. Let's add the callback activity. Click and drag the callback request activity to the hunt group activity. Right-click on the callback request header. Click Show Properties. You need an inbound and outbound subroutine for the callback. Click the three dots next to callback inbound subroutine to choose from a list of available subroutines. Choose the default inbound voice callback subroutine. Click OK. Repeat those steps for the outbound subroutine, choosing the default outbound voice callback subroutine. Click the three dots to choose from a destination. Choose a queue from the list. Click OK. The destination field defines what queue returns this call. This can be the original queue or a different queue. Under subroutines, you can change the defaults associated with the inbound and outbound subroutine. You can proactively offer a callback too. Back on the workflow, we can use the queue condition to determine if we want the call to route to the queue or be offered a callback option instead. With a queue condition under our open hours, right-click on the queue header. Click Add. Click the three-dot icon. Choose a queue from the list. Click OK. Click Add. Choose number of calls waiting from the dropdown. Choose greater than or equal to from the dropdown. Enter the maximum number of calls. We are entering eight. Click OK. Click OK to save this setting. Right-click, drag, and drop the menu activity under your number of calls activity. This allows us to build a menu where we inform the caller the call volume is high and offer the callback. Or they could choose to go to the queue and wait. Right-click on the menu header. Click Add Branch. Click Add. Add the total number of options to add to the menu. We are adding two options. Click OK. Now we are going to add the callback activity to the menu. Right-click, drag and drop the callback activity to an option on your menu. Right-click on the callback request header. Click Show Properties. You need an inbound and outbound subroutine for the callback. Click the three dots next to callback inbound subroutine to choose from a list of available subroutines. Choose the default inbound voice callback subroutine. Click OK. Repeat those steps for the outbound subroutine, choosing the default outbound voice callback subroutine. 
Click the three dots to choose from a list destination. Choose a queue from the list. Click OK. The destination field defines what queue returns this call. This can be the original queue or a different queue. When the call is routed to an agent, they are notified that their call is a callback. The agent is placed on hold. The system places a call to the callback information. If the caller answers, the call is connected to the agent. If the person who requested the callback does not answer, the system retries the call later. A default number of attempts are made. 